this situation into a bit of a lesson, even though I know a lot of you guys are familiar with it, that tent. But anytime that I'm up there tinting a full car and I got a set of front doors to walk in, um, we don't want them going somewhere else. We don't want them to have to leave. So if they're in the door, we'll pull them in and just get them done real quick. So it doesn't put off what you're doing very much and you can make some extra money. So, ooh, let me make sure, shoot, let me make sure my GoPro's good. Let me know if the angle's okay. Trevor asks, how much PSI can I run in a tint keg? So you really, this goes for any size. They go up to like 90, 90 to 100. Um, that's usually when mine goes. I think they might've put a stronger pressure release, but I don't know. I've seen some people have them all the way up to 120. I usually sit somewhere between 80 to 90 um, before my pressure release pops. So that is more than enough to run you through the entire tank, sitting at 90. So if you, if you keep it a little bit light, then you're gonna have to like fill it back up with air near the end, because that air is gonna expand. But whatever you're most comfortable with. Um, somebody asked, is it common for the front doors to be different from the back doors? Yeah, it's all, it's all per personal preference. So, um, most people around here just want to match them to the back, which gets a little frustrating when, uh, when you can't match it perfectly. So a lot of foreign trucks and SUVs, like I'm talking, um, most stuff from like, uh, Japan, like Subaru. Um, Subaru is definitely one of them where they'll have a lighter percentage on the back Subaru or like, you know, German manufacturers too. So most people here will end up just getting 20%. Um, and that's, that's like as close, that's, uh, what most are, but there's always a little variance in there. Some Lincolns go all the way down to like 13, 14 and then some other uh some other type of vehicles uh sit around like 25 to 28 all right we got automatic wipers so if I get that wet, my wipers are gonna go off, so we're gonna move some of this. So I don't want it to throw it all over my windshield. Um, somebody asked, is, uh, is Avery uh, NR, their baseline, their orbit, um, as good as Avery. Um, yeah, it's, I know what the film is and it's definitely like a good quality film. I prefer Avery um, just for like the branding and it's got a, a glue that releases when you go to like pull the film. So you're not scraping a bunch of glue. That's like one of the worst things about one particular manufacturer. Actually, a couple. There's a few that do that. What's up, Chip Smith? If you guys are wondering what that pounding noise is, 
They're uh, clearing the glass out of a back window. It got smashed somehow. Not for window tinting. I'm in a glass shop if you, if some of you don't know. <laughs> so we're gonna set that there. Now, I'm gonna do this roll down and then I'm gonna tackle this little quarter. But like same thing on this side and you can even see like not very well manufactured as far as like the way this uh, this border sits around here. So it often at the very top comes like overlapping the dots and then the bottom gives you a little bit more space. But they had like, you know, they had rubber just like dangling across. It's brand new. It should be better. Let's put this up here. Get this prepped. Uh, said he's heard of people using uh, or seeing somebody use tint in a spray can. Yeah, that that is uh, nightshades. Um, so that would be for tail lights exclusively, tail lights and headlights. Um, it's a plastic tint spray, basically, or uh, sorry, a like chemical tint spray. So. You wouldn't be able to coat windows with that the same way as you would window film. I actually saw a video on YouTube where somebody tried nightshades on their windows just to uh, see what it looked like. He did it so you wouldn't have to. It didn't turn out great. Looked good on the outside though. Um, Ethan, is that, if I got that right, asked, uh, have they ever done Subarus with an eyesight system? So that was actually a topic in the groups. In, uh, in one of the Facebook groups. I don't remember which one. Um, Subaru, I've talked to them. Um, and they say don't put basically anything on the windshield. It's a very sensitive system. And then I've heard... Um, there's some tinners. There were some tinners that, uh, that, that have done it. And they said they haven't had issues with lighter films. So, it's really one of those things where you'd want to do it at your own risk or just let the customer know it could fuck with the system. Um, with all those self-driving systems, they can be a little bit touchy. So... Just, just keep that in mind. Subaru officially says don't do anything, but you know, there's always that little bit of like, you know, it's got to be good in dry, regular driving conditions, and shit can fly on the windshield and whatever. So it's got to be able to handle some of that. So I'd imagine it would be okay in certain circumstances, but it's not on you if something screws up, but definitely make sure a customer knows in advance. So 
I got a few announcements that I actually have to talk about in today's stream. So I should do that in a little bit. Probably after we get this car done, we'll talk about it. Basically, free t-shirt giveaway by Iron Duck Designs. Um, and I do have a tank class coming up. Um, somebody asks, is it legal tinting front doors in my country? Yes, uh, it is, depending on the state laws. So here in Michigan, um, the general law is it's illegal on the front doors and the windshield, but it's legal with a doctor's phone. And we're not required to check, so. <laughs> Dino Arena says uh, he sees that I don't do a whole lot of cleaning and no contamination question <laughs> mark um, by and large no by and large they're extremely clean um, most of the seals like I get a lot of like you know stuff that looks like both of these both of these are relatively newer either buys or leases um, which are generally really clean so even if they're older, a lot of it's just about spreading the film outwards. And as long as you don't let things seep back in, then you're okay. Um, somebody asked, is there financing for the class? Uh, go to Car Guy Supplies and talk to them. I don't believe so. Um, but the thing about taking a tank class is the whole point is to make you back that money really, really quickly. So it's an investment in yourself. Um, it's 1300, 12 or 1300, I don't remember. It's one of the two, for, uh, for three days. Um, I'll be there. Um, they have a couple more uh, installers there too that will be helping teach. It's open up to 12 people. Um, so I would suggest get in if you're interested. So sometimes you can trim these back without having to like trim out the rubber. So basically like sticking a blade in here and just prying it away. Um, you're not doing it very far, but what I'm noticing is like all these little pieces are falling down. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna trim it back just a little bit. So we're gonna take a sharp 60, or I'm sorry, 30. and just try and eke this back. So you still have to like trim it back a little bit, but I want this to basically sit just inside there. So we'll have to cut this really, really, really close. And they don't exactly give you the best angles to get this, do they? There we go, that looks better. Can you touch on dot matrix line in an accord? Um, not quite sure what you mean by that, but the uh, the uh, dot matrix, by and large, you, you the only way to touch them up is to let them dry out. Oh shit! We got a super chat. Who's that? Kieran. Kieran super chatted five great British pounds. Is that what that is? Thank you. Kieran here from KM Tense UK. I hope this helps a little, Matt. You deserve so much more for the skills that you teach us all. Thanks for the videos. Thanks, dude. I really appreciate that. That's awesome. So we're gonna cut off a little piece. The most frustrating types of windows. That's not true. It's kind of true. Shut 
So, on these, we get the mirror in the way. So you basically like align this bottom up until it's pretty much flush um, with the inside, maybe a little bit lower because they have a little bit of space. And then I'll use a hard card or something and tack it firmly. Take out a 60 degree and then slice up. And then we're gonna need a light for this portion. Sometimes we can get away with using a phone. And I'm not sure if I have enough battery on my light, so we're gonna go grab that real quick. Da, 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 da. What's Daniel? Matt, explain that if there's a black border not to dig in, um, they will mar the black border and it'll be noticeable. That's a good point. Yeah, um, so when you have a dot matrix border um, and you're trimming back rubber, don't pr dig your blade into the glass too hard because um, you'll scratch the ceramic and it will be noticeable. So you got to put some pressure, but don't go crazy. have to be so so close these are the type of quarter windows that they had at the competition which really threw people off but they're putting them on damn near everything so it's all part of what you gotta get used to at least for like US cars all right so that's trimmed this may or may not line up well so we'll see Are these the uh, same type of quarters as the new front fu or Ford Fusions? Um, very, yeah, pretty much. There's a few that are just like these. They give you like a hard rubber edge, um, but on the Fusion, sometimes they'll give you a little bit of leniency on those front quarters. Just about making sure that all your gaps are covered right up to that edge. Not much room. <laughs> Kyle says he used Lexan over the weekend. How'd it go? I'm curious. So that's one set done. Set maybe a little bit of touch up. Like right here. deal so let's go over to the other side make sure I don't leave my hat um, versatility he asked does anybody notice a big difference between uh, much of a difference between 15 and 20. Um, I think specifically for Lexan, I'm not sure for Lexan. Um, but in general, there really isn't. A lot of, for a lot of people, I, I've come to find out 15 is very mental. It sounds much darker. It's like buying something at like, you know, $4.99 versus 
It's just that little mental game. It's like 5% darker. Um, but if you put them side by side, like where we've had, if I've put like 15 on the back and 20 on the front, which was pretty common, um, a lot of times we'd have customers argue with us saying that the, we put the same shade on the front and the back. Because they couldn't see the difference. That's kind of... It's kind of how... Uh, kind of how it works with... What am I trying to say? Um, like, oh yeah, factory windows. So with factory windows, you have, uh, you know, where I'm doing 20 on the front, but that's not exactly what's on the back, especially the color. So it's close enough where most people don't notice anything. have been waiting for live streams sorry sorry we didn't we didn't get one going on Friday I really wanted to I actually stayed late to try and get one going but uh, I just didn't have any work for it believe it or not there's supposed to be two front doors and a windshield like removal um, it's just old tint on the vehicle where I was just supposed to pull it so I was gonna make the best of that and then it came in like 15 minutes late and uh, turned out to just be uh, two doors. And I was like, well, oh, that's ruined. LKB. Oh, Noah says he kept missing because of school. Well, this is school, man. <laughs> but keep your studies too. That's important. Um, LKB? Is that, is that the username? Um, he says there aren't very many videos showing different percentages. Yeah, there really aren't. And it's kind of a hard thing to convey on camera, too, because, like, cameras have auto exposure, so you have to kind of lock that stuff off. Um, but, yeah, there could be some more effort done. I know Patrick's got a video comparing them, but... Just in general, it's like, unless you see it in person, they'll look a little bit lighter or darker depending on the camera you're using too. And your exposure settings and stuff. And lighting conditions. <laughs> There's actually a bunch of little things that contribute. Um, have I done tint on a Nissan GTR 2016? No, I haven't, but they're pretty easy from what I've seen. I have done a Nissan GTR. Um, I just haven't done one on a 16. But they all look, as far as I can tell, they all look really easy. I know the one I did was really easy. Noah says uh, he'd be happy to give me his teacher's email. I'll excuse him from class. God, I feel old now. <laughs> All right, so let's try this one. Yeah, same deal on this one. It's coming back cleaner, so that's good. So I'm able to like at least pry this back. So I don't think we're gonna have to trim this one. Five percent is real, real dark. I had five percent on my car for exactly five minutes. I put it on, I sat in it, 
and I pulled it off. It's just way too dark on the front doors. On the back, it's fine. On the front doors, I think it's crazy. Daniel Reyna says he's freezing through a BMW X3. Ooh, got some good money. From 375 to like 475 or something like that. Nice job, man. Um, yeah, X3s are like really, really straightforward. They're fun cars to tent. I'd love to be doing windshields and stuff. Oh, I also got a full-size garage, so we're gonna be moving soon, like end of the month. End of this month in through next month. I have overlapping leases right now. We are going to set up a streaming garage. That's on my list of announcements. Mental list. I'm probably gonna forget one of these. I should have wrote them down. Uh, tips on a back window, 2019 Grand Cherokee. Mm. Wish I had a good example right now for you. Um, I'm pretty sure they have spoilers. So you can check out my Dodge Grand Caravan video, um, which has one of those, and also the Ford Focus live stream. Believe it or not, those are hatch back windows. So those spoilers are always gonna be the most annoying thing to get around with the wipers at the bottom. The stream shack or the tent hut. I'm not sure. <laughs> those are funny. But the, uh, so what I'm, I don't know. I'm trying to think of a name. I wanna gear it towards like a local tent shop name. Thanks, Fade. See you later. Um, yeah, I don't know. I have to talk to a couple of people about a name. Um, pretty sure we're just gonna go local, a local name, and focus on local marketing and stuff. And, cause I'm pretty new to local marketing, but I understand how a lot of marketing works, so. Just like, what are some best practices for when you open up your own garage? And there's gonna be a couple challenges. Like, I don't wanna just give out the address. Um, so we're gonna have to list it as a local service and not a physical space. And that's gonna be one of the challenges. But maybe with live streaming, I have a, I think I have a pretty competitive advantage though. Just go with tint stuff for the name. <laughs> yeah, I wish. Unfortunately, I think all my YouTube videos would like come out on top. Um, I have to like, you have to think like a random person. So if I was looking for tint in my area, most people would search like their city and then window tint and then see what pops up. So that's usually the most, the best thing to go with from what I understand. Um, some of that competition obviously has already been filled um, with those types of names. And I wanted something a little bit more catchy, <laughs> but you know, cause if, if I move, that's kind of like that whole name. So I'm not sure 100% yet, but probably in the beginning, that's what we're gonna be doing. Cause I don't intend to stay in Michigan. But I've been saying that for a while, so. Oh, Jay Bird says she used to get pinches on the film. And then he saw how I tuck them in. That's awesome. Glad it helped. 
yeah, they're uh, just one side and then the other. That was how I was taught, so I still get little pinches on the side here and there, especially on tighter seals. It's really, really tough to avoid entirely. But just because you pinch it a little bit doesn't mean it's ruined. Move to VA. No. Well, no, not yet. <laughs> I want to move somewhere warmer, for sure. I'm just not quite sure how warm I want to go. I don't really want to go as far down as Florida, but it seems like everything happens over in California and Florida. But California is ridiculous and ridiculously expensive. And Florida is like dumb humid. So I really don't know yet. Maybe Texas, but Texas is also dumb hot. So that's not exactly much better. I have this edge just slightly longer, so I'm just trying to like warm it up to get it to lay down. These are soft touch panels, so you have to be very, very careful with them. I fried one before. Customer was not a happy camper from that one. Wow, people are telling me to go all over the place. Tennessee, San Antonio. I don't know, we'll see. I was really jealous of what Texas has in housing. Good God, holy shit. Like, you'll, you guys will see. It's very expensive to rent here. And the places that you rent are not like nice and updated. Most of them are not. So things are expensive and ugh. So these ones, these are done. So front quarters, front roll downs, we are all set on these ones. So that one is dropped off. So I will take a short intermission and talk to you guys, answer some questions, and then we'll hop right into the next one. Oh, I caught that one, Daniel. Daniel Reyna says, let's go to the Philippines. That's that's like long-term life goal, actually. I want to live here for six months and then live in the Philippines for six months. <laughs> it's too nice there. All right. So let's put this down for a minute. Oh. <laughs> Everybody's telling me so many places to move to. So let me scroll back just a bit. Um, uh, um, uh, Adil, he asked, hey Matt, um, I wonder what you do for tinning out in the cold. I get some water spots at the bottom of the film. Um, Timmy in the cold it honestly isn't really any different, but you're always gonna have like um, moisture pull up at the bottom and in little spots all over the film. That's completely normal. So nothing odd there. Um, it always takes a little bit to dry out. If you have white specks, then that's dirt and that's something different. Um, Terry says the cost of living here is cheap. You can get a six bedroom house for 250,000. Yeah, that's real cheap. We're talking rent here for like a three bedroom, uh, two bath, and in a lot of areas around here is is like eighteen to like twenty two hundred, and like eighteen for like lower end stuff. Twenty two is like decently nice, and you can go a lot past that. Uh, Michael uh, from Facebook, he says, "Come to South Carolina, uh, join MA Tinting. Let's get this money." <laughs> um, I'm actually looking to just kind of. Do my own little thing in like a smaller garage. I, I believe it or not, I don't want to get like super busy. 
I like what I do right now. Um, 501, I've got a shop where you can stream from um, in Ar Arkansas. Arkansas? Ar Arkans? Arkans? Oh my god, I'm pronouncing that so wrong. <laughs> That's cool. I appreciate it. You know, it'd be cool to travel around and do some streams and stuff like that, but it's going to be sometime in the future. I have no plans for that. Grow the beard out. <laughs> Dude, oh my god. I just get lazy. I can't. I'm all like all scraggly and I can't grow a beard for shit. So I'm just lazy on shaving. So, okay. So with all that, I actually have a couple things that I need to talk about. So I'm going to pace for a little bit. Um, first off, I should copy a link. I should totally copy a link. Um, let me let me Google this right quick. No, not okay. I'm done with science. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna post a link in chat, and this is to a wonderful designer, um, Carrie. She owns Iron Duck Designs. She is now giving away ten tint stuff T-shirts, so. Uh, she reached out to me and asked if that would be cool. She does a bunch of cool graphic designs. She's done my logo. Um, she's done a bunch of other window tenders logo. So there's a lot of people that already know who Carrie is. Um, but if you click that link um, in the chat, you guys can go enter um, to win a Tint Stuff t-shirt. So go show her some support, some love, and possibly win a Tint Stuff shirt. Not, not a worn one, thankfully, brand new. Brand new with my logo. So. I thought that was really, really cool of her. Um, another thing that I need to talk about, uh, car, car, guy, supplies. I should prepare links. I'm really bad at this too. Okay, so car guys supplies. Uh, actually, this is with Chicago Auto Pros. So they own this tool site. Um, but what we're going to be doing is in March, March 9th to 11th, we're going to have a window tinting uh, class or clinic, as they put it. So I'm going to paste the link here. You guys can learn more about it. You guys can talk to them. Um, but yeah, they, uh, they're putting together this awesome class. We're going to have, I think, three trainers there for up to 12 people so far. Um, if we have to open it up to more people, um, that might happen, but for now it's only set to 12. Um, so that should be, that should be really, really good. Um, if you guys want to come out, uh, learn a lot about window tinting. Me, personally, I'm going to go over a lot of hand cutting stuff. Um, that's usually, uh, where I see a lot of classes lacking. Um, and just efficiency. So, I'm going to be putting out some videos, um, coming up very soon on things that you can do to help prepare um, for a class like this because if you're going to it brand new that's not necessarily a bad thing at all but you have time to at least get film get tools and practice but they will provide um, $150 worth of tools um, for everybody that signs up those are yours to keep take home it's sponsored by Lumar too so we'll have Lumar film that you can practice with as much film as you could ever want it's going to be a really fun really cool experience um, there's been so like I've taught one class in the past before uh, They went from five hours to now their own they own their own shop sticky tents in Wisconsin. So really really cool Can I tint that? Is this plexi? No Sorry, yeah, it's just not gonna stick Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's not gonna stick. Sorry Yeah, it's just gonna like bend and fall off and bubble um, so yeah, uh, if you guys are interested, again, check out that link. Um, there's more information. You can call them, talk to them about the class and, and whatever you want to know. Um, but I'll be putting out some videos more on that class coming up. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really, re I'm really, really excited to do it. So it'll be really cool. Oh, da -da. Anything else? Um... Yes, Lincoln is all set. 
Uh, Adil asks, do you recommend the Clear Max or the Orange Crush? I don't recommend either. Get this guy. This guy is the flat out. It's built like the Orange Crush. It's by the same company. It's manufactured the same way. It's just a harder squeegee. Um, it's got the same feel as the Orange Crush. It's just stiffer. So um, I would recommend the Orange Crush, um, but this is, in my opinion, better than that. It's a good all around squeegee for sure. Um, Demo asks, hi, uh, can you show us how to tint, uh, how to window tint on sliding doors like a Toyota, ooh, oh, like a Sienna? Um, yeah, if I get one of those, I have an account that gets a lot of those minivans, um, so I would be happy to do one of those. Those things suck, and I figured out a way, um, a decent way, without having to pull anything. So, yeah, I, I'll definitely do a video or a live stream on one of those. Um, I just need the right circumstance to do it. Joseph Rodriguez says the flat out is always out of stock. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Sorry. But this has happened multiple times with multiple things that I mentioned. As soon as I find something halfway interesting that most people aren't using, it's just run everybody out of stock. Um, so sundistributingdirect.com, they have them. Check out Tent Depot, of course. I'll ask them if they're gonna be stocking them anytime soon. Um, sorry, that's just the nature of this. When, <laughs> when you find something cool that's just not a lot of people use, they can sell it really quickly. Ugh. So we're gonna get started on this, but there's one more good question. Versatility says, I've been waiting to get a flat out, but I can't bring myself to pay shipping. It's almost more than the squeegee itself. Um, yeah, e like buy that and a f handful of other things. I mean, if you're if you're in the U.S., then it's yeah, it sucks to pay for shipping on tools, but the bitch of tools is that there's little, very little margin in tools, so like they they really have a hard time um, handing out free shipping for any tools. So. Especially with Amazon, it's gonna take over. <laughs> so, Daniel says, you should be able to spend extra for good tools. Yes. This is, this is one of the, the few professions. It's a little more difficult if you're just starting out. I understand that for sure. Um, but this is one of the few professions where the tools like what you make in comparison to how much you spend on tools like there you really don't spend much in tools at all like i can get a full new set like my uh 2019 tools um i had uh well every tool on that list added up to just over 200 dollars. that was full pro set pretty much for every circumstance like that it that's crazy. I could spend over $200 on an impact gun and get paid way less. So, you know, it's, it's a good field for sure. But you'll make that money back real, real quick off of just like one or two cars, you'll make all your tools back. Same thing for like spray tanks and stuff. Where are we at? What's going on? We're gonna get started on these front doors. Um, these are going to be real quick. Cool. Oh, wow. Oh, Ryan just put in an order. Thanks, Ryan. I appreciate it. I don't know if you're watching, but thank you. <laughs> okay, so let's throw on the GoPro. We're going to get these done. These are going to be real quick, about 20 minutes for these. So let's get it. Let's get it good. Dill says I am very fast. I had to be. I didn't want to choose to be this way. I was forced to be this way. <laughs> and there's people faster than me. Um, it's just a lot of practice, a lot of repetition. It's all very similar method. And when you practice it, years and years and years, you just get faster, especially when you push yourself. All right. 
So I do so many sets of these doors. Rams, Silverados, Sierras, um, F-150s. But these, the Yukon Denali's and the Rams are probably my favorite because they both take a 20 inch roll and uh, very, very straightforward. So we just make sure our film is matchy, matchy, bottom, top. So we know we're cutting the exact same um, spots on the film. And then we squeegee them together. You can push a lot of these mirrors out of the way too. You see me do that often. I used to spend a lot more time cleaning and then I didn't have time to do it anymore. And then I found out you don't necessarily have to. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much how all that goes. You figure out what steps you can shortcut without compromising quality. Versatility says he's been double cutting and double shrinking and has cut his time in half. Boom. There you go. Exactly. That's that's fantastic, man. Yeah, that's the that's easily the quickest thing that most people can do to speed up. If you're cutting everything out individually, start double cutting. Just do it. It'll, it'll be painful for a little bit, especially when you start messing up patterns, but it'll, it'll drastically improve your time. But yeah, the painful part is always when you uh, screw up a window and then you have to redo both. that cut. Um, Adele asked, why don't I uh, razor the window? I used to. I used to razor every window all the time and I used to preach it. Like, razor every window. Those stuff that you can't see. And that's true. There is stuff that you can't see. Um, that's on the glass. But, what I found out is I don't want to pay for razor blades. <laughs> so, when I first went mobile, I had to start paying for all my supplies. And they worked at these shops. They would carry one inch razor blades, um, but they didn't stock them that often. So I worked at like some auto accessory shops, mobile run around from place to place. And I just didn't want to buy new one inch razor blades. So I held on to a one inch razor blade longer. And then I found out that if you take one of these plastic scraper cards, like the Gator blade, um, that will actually be good enough for the majority of windows. Either that or just wiping them with your hand. I like to dig out the seals a little bit though. Is a plastic razor any good? Um, it kind of, it's not, it's not gonna be as good as a, as a, uh, like a steel razor blade. So if you have like a sticker or something, like you'll see, um, there's a, there's the staple um, OnStar Wi-Fi sticker on these. So I will take a one inch razor blade for that portion. And because I have it out, I'll often use it on the rest of it. Do we, we use a 20? Yeah, we use a 20 inch roll. But on the, on the rest of it, um, I use a scrub pad. And I didn't even use the scrub pad until recently, so. Yeah, a lot of new cars you don't. Older cars, you have to put a little bit more attention to. But even them, 
Like it's, it's majority of the dirt in your film comes down to your technique. It really does. So if you rough scrape the window, push everything off to the side, squeegee it off, and then have a real clean install process, your film, like you're not gonna give the dirt a chance to come back into the film. That's the key there. And also you see me use a little bit more water. So that probably has a little something to do with it. Um, ba -ba. cool. Well, I got three sheets here. I'm just the top one, top two. So we have that sticker. We need to take care of it. I do have one inch razor blades in my pocket right now. Hey, yes, sir. I took a uh, complete at 12. Did you really? Yeah, fusion. Life. What is it on? No, that's good. Huh? Fusion. A fusion. Oh, I would. I... There's a complete on a fusion now. God damn it. That's a good thing. But I don't, I can't. Maybe we'll do another live stream. I don't know. <laughs> if I just did these and then hung around. We would have had a full car live stream with front quarters. That's great. It's great how that happens. Okay, so I got distracted. I used the one inch razor blade, scraped that part off. Then I defaulted to my plastic scraper card, scraped the bottom. Um, that's out of muscle memory and habit. But the nice thing about the gator blade is the way that it's shaped makes it really easy to get that extra bit in there to like to swipe down the seals at the bottom. So now we take a scrub pad. This is misted. So what we have here is a scrubbing compound. And this will help take rid of, basically it'll take off hydrophobic coatings. It'll deep clean the glass and just make it nice and clean. But it leaves a little abrasive behind. So then we take a towel a dirty linty towel, which will freak some people out. And then we take a slightly cleaner towel, make sure that top edge has none of that grit. And then we squeegee it clean. And the squeegee is always what cleans your window. Everything else will leave shit behind. So I like to sweep it all to one side, as you guys know, and then sweep it down. And we're good. I could do it again if I want to be extra thorough, or we can just say, fuck it. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna say, fuck it. Uh, Cody asked, what microfibers do I use? Um, I got a pack from Costco, just the yellow ones. They're actually really, really good. So they do leave a little lint behind, um, but they fluff up really nice. And you can get a lot of them for not very much money. They're, they're pretty competitive. If you go to like Walmart or Meijer, um, a lot of the microfibers just aren't that great. To be honest, like there's lots of cheap ones um, and like cheap ones that just like seem to smear water around rather than like absorb it and keep things clean. So Costco ones seem pretty good. You are welcome. this up. Thanks Adil for, uh, for hanging out. Glad I could be of help. Daniel Reyna recommends uh, microfibers from 
3D? Is that is that what it is? Let me look. Yeah, from 3D products. Could check those out for sure. Yeah, professional detailer microfibers would probably be better. <laughs> it's one of those things where, um, you know, I, I cheaped out on microfibers in comparison to what I could buy. <laughs> and here I go talking about spending money on tools, right? The squeezies are more important though, for sure. This one's all set. Just gotta wipe her down. That's it. We need a less damp one. This one. This one will do nicely. Nice. What's up, Efren? Glad you can make it. So what time is it? Look at Daniel pulling in the big bucks. Awesome, man. So Dino Reyna says he's gotta go do an Acura TL. Nice, very nice. Uh, ceramic, another 375. See ya, man. Thanks for hanging out and thank you so much for the super chat again. We'll see you in the next one. That's what I like to hear. People staying busy in the middle of winter, still making money, and like good money. Oh, is this gonna beep on me? We don't want that. Where's my key? Just taking me in my little, where's the little button thing? Should pop out. Nope, I need better nails. There we go, this, I need this guy. Done. Okay, so we don't have a sticker on this side, so we're not gonna use a razor on this side. And it's so new. Scrape it, you can run your hand over it, you can feel for like grit and stuff. If you don't feel it, you're really not gonna see anything. It's kind of a rule of thumb. And then the scrubby.
Final stretch. Dan Reyna with another super chat. Thank you, sir. I thought you left. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. Thank you for helping support everything. I'm glad I can hear those now. Because with the software I was working with before, it's nice that I can hear them though. Oh, somebody asked about my garage. Did I? <laughs> I missed the rest of the comment. Um, but so with my with my apartment garage, yes, I did finish it, and no, I didn't do hardly anything with it. Which is really, really dumb, right? However, part two of that will be coming up soon. Um, I'm moving out of that apartment, actually. We literally just uh, put a deposit down on a house with a full-size garage. So, I have, I literally have to make that work. So, we're gonna be turning that into the new studio stream garage. And it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be real fun. We're gonna be doing some local marketing stuff. Um, I'm gonna be learning about that and gonna be working with some people that actually do it. And then we're also gonna be using TentWiz to schedule appointments and shit like that. And we're gonna, we're gonna have some fun. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I, yeah, I'm real excited. Um, I just want a space I can pull a car into, open the doors all the way, space that I can make look nice. I don't want a shop. Not yet. Probably not ever. I don't know. It'll probably happen eventually. But I don't really. I like a studio. Like my own small space. Something that I can work. I can make videos live stream and kind of work at my own pace rather than like shop environment. So this one should be good. And then in 20 minutes we have a fusion coming in, which I wish I held off on the live stream for the fusion, but it wasn't in the books. It was a happy accident. So <laughs> go figure. Ah, that's how it goes. But I was nervous. After after Fridays, I didn't want to not have anything. So. Efren says, congrats on the house. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, Lynn, uh, Wallace asks, when I clean the back windshield and apply the tent, it leaves tiny bubbles. Do I need to change my tool? Chances are the tiny bubbles are dirt. Um, so I use a couple things in a back window. I use this and I use like a bulldozer for the bottom and stuff like that. So if you have a decent um, squeegee, that'll get out most of the water and stuff like that. So if you have little, little specks left over, chances are it's just dirt from insulation. It takes practice, so practice, practice, practice. Uh, stream the fusion. I know, I know I should, right? I just don't want it to turn into another uh, Dodge Ram stream. So maybe we'll cut things off now and then I'll fire it back up. I'm not sure. Cause it's 1140 so. Yeah, let's do that. I don't want to wait around. I'll set it up. Okay, hang on one second. So I think, I think what we're gonna do then because I have plenty of batteries. I have no excuses there. I have time today, so there's no excuses there. But what happened with the last live stream, um, I streamed the Cadillac and then came over and did the Dodge Ram, and things really like tapered off. So what I think I'm gonna do is set it up as a new stream, and then um, 
So look for that. So that's, that's what we'll do. We'll go ahead and end things um, and make this its own dedicated video about the two doors and stuff like that. And then we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll try it again. We'll continue with the fusion because I'm still like, I'm not tired. <laughs> the, the first, uh, first live stream. Um, I mean, we just did two sets of doors. That's, so that's easy peasy. So we'll do, we'll do a full car. That'll be easy. And then we have nothing after that. So might as well make the most of it. So, all righty, we'll do another one. Um, but I'm going to close this one down for right now. And then as soon as that one comes in and gets prepped, I'll go live again. So be on the lookout for that. Turn the bell on. That's the best way to know when I go live. I'm sure most of you guys have already though. So, but for now, um, uh, ta -ta. Oh, let's answer just a couple of quick things first. Albert says, I downloaded the TintWiz app the other day. A little slow right now, and I tint on the side, so I haven't got to use it yet, but looking forward to it. Cool. Also, it does look very confusing. You need to put a little bit of time into understanding the software, um, but their support is fantastic. If you message them, they will get back to you very quickly. Um, they'll give you a full tour of the software, um, and they'll just do whatever they can to help you um, use it and understand it so don't be afraid to reach out to them they're awesome sponsors awesome company so big fan of them also if you're looking for tools check out tint depot link in the video description for both of those and okay so we'll shut this down i'll be back up in a little bit as long as that car comes in so thank you guys so much for hanging out and as always i will see you in the next one very shortly hopefully